Welcome to the last part of Mega Man 7, and it's a part I don't actually play. I'm just recapping what I did to Wily to, for the sake of continuity here. But we have beaten Dr. Wily and saved the world. This ending is so huge, I had to make it a separate video, so that's a first. But, uh, here we go. Okay, I give up. Sorry about all the trouble. I'll go quietly. I don't trust you, Wily. I gonna do what I should have done years ago. Great translation, folks. The guys at Capcom are doing a stand-up job, I must say. You forget, Mega Man. Robots cannot harm humans. And this is where the translators really fucked up. I don't care for this line at all, but, uh... I am more than a robot! Die, Wily! Yeah, Mega Man just went all evil and bloodlust crazy, and she tried to kill Dr. Wily. Or at least we assume he tried. But the base self-destructs for no reason, as always, because, you know, Wily just likes to design bases like that. <laughs> and it, it gets crushed by the, the rubble, and then, oh no, damn it, Treble carried him away. Too late, Mega Man. I hate you, base. I fucking hate you. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. Well, of course, I keep mentioning a game called Mega Man and Base. I'm sure you'll be back. So Mega Man escapes the base in time, because he can just teleport like every other time. <laughs> I don't know how these robots get the ability to just disappear in a beam of light, but regardless, this is a badass walk away. Walks away as the fortress explodes in a giant burst of fire, but he looks like he's pissed. He looks like he has a a walk of determination, you know? And that, my friends, was Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo, and I had a great time playing this one, my first time playing through it, because I love the music of this game. The music is kick-ass. It's up there with 2 and 9, in my opinion. Every track, I just love, I just get a kick out of them all. Uh, of course, the great creative levels, even though one was pretty much Jurassic Park, but uh, I love the levels, I love the Robot Masters, and uh, it's just an awesome game, what can I say? I love Mega Man 7. I've actually been seeing a lot of comments from people, and a lot of people don't like Mega Man 7, which I find really perplexing. I mean, yeah, it's not the 8-bit games, and the 8-bit games are legendary, and, you know, nothing rivals the 8-bit games, but even still, I find it very, uh... very, uh, con confuzzling, as I like to say. Yes, confuzzling. I mean, I don't see what people are finding fault here. Maybe it's too easy? I don't think it's t that easy. I mean, I had a hell of a time playing it my first time. I mean, the levels are easier, but the bosses are definitely harder. But I digress. Uh, in the Japanese Rockman 7, as he's known in Japan, uh, when he... the ending dialogue was pretty much the same. He still threatened to kill Dr. Wily, and then Wily re reminded him that, you can't kill me, you, you're a robot. And in the Mega Man universe, the number one rule of robotics, at least in the classic series, is that humans cannot be killed by robots because they have some kind of design flaw or something. And in the Japanese game, after Wily told him that, Mega Man didn't say, Die, Wily! He said nothing. There was like a dot 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 in the sentence, you know? So he was speechless. Basically that meant that Mega Man knew Wily was right, and it, I guess it made him pissed off or something because he knew he couldn't kill Wily, even though he probably really wanted to. But for some reason, the American translators decided to make Mega Man go apeshit crazy and yell out, Die, Wily! I don't think a stand-up hero would be saying, Die, Wily. I don't know. Maybe I'm cuckoo crazy. But uh, that doesn't seem like something you want to look up to. I love Mega Man! He kills people! <laughs> no, no. You don't want Mega Man going on a bloodthirsty kill. But I digress. 
Uh, there's a fan-made version of Mega Man 7 out there that is actually completely 8-bit. It uh, took out the intro level and... I forget what else, but I know some things are changed, but for the most part, it's pretty damn accurate. Only imagine it in 8-bit with classic Mega Man and the classic sounds, classic look of energy tanks and stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to play that one. I haven't played it yet. But, uh, you know, if you are interested in that, look on the internet because it's out there somewhere. It's only in Japanese, but, uh, you know, 8-bit of anything is pretty fun. And there's Bass in Trouble looking over the cliff. Bass is the villain of the series now. Well, Dr. Wily's still the villain of the series, but Bass is pretty much uh, the new Mega Man rival. Similar to Shadow the Hedgehog in the Sonic series. Well, they're more friends now, but, uh, you know, he's just an equal villain that is pretty much like Mega Man in every way. He's got a, a Mega Buster called the Bass Buster. He has a dog companion named Treble. Or, I guess he's a wolf. And, uh, you know. We will be seeing the rest of him later. In Mega Man 8. And Mega Man returns home to... Get a nice photo op, I guess. Because <laughs> he has just saved the world yet again. And he deserves the... Great celebration. Or something like that. But anywho, folks, if you ever played Mega Man 7, please tell me your experiences with the game. If you hate it, tell me why you hate it, because uh, that would be interesting to know. And uh, that password on the bottom, by the way, leads to a two-player battling game where you and a friend can become Mega Man or base and fight each other. Test it out, because it's kind of fun. So anyway, next game is Mega Man 8 for the PlayStation. I cannot wait. Stay tuned for that. Until then, I am the Great Clement. Toodles!